I am here with Trek and Travel. Roar Warriors! Roar Warriors! Continue on the road. Welcome to Truck and Travel. <laughs> I'm Derek. And Cinnamon's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making fun of my left? Nope. Slow down, my mommy works here. I like that sign. Your mommy doesn't work. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Hold on, kids. We're going to try to get on the... Oh, the toll road here, the interstate. We got her floored. We ain't getting, getting too far down the road. Oh, 
up a container in Cleveland, Ohio, and this thing goes to Transfer, Pennsylvania. Which I think is a funny name for a town. Where'd you transfer to? Transfer? Yeah. And I think uh, <laughs> the rate is $600 and it's for 90 miles. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we had two of these so far. So that's pretty exciting. I wish yeah. that there's a ton, I just do them all week. Yeah. But, no, it's not like that, so we can only get two of them. And I don't like going any faster than uh, 65 miles per hour uh, for the sake of the transmission. Yeah. For the most part, it's fine at 65, but sometimes it just depends, you know. Oh, and I know that some people were asking if I was just a co-pilot. <laughs> Oh. But I actually drove this morning, so you just didn't get it on tape. I'm really sad that we didn't get that tape. I was really, that was part of my reasoning for you to drive. I couldn't drive, but. I was like, so we could just get it on tape? Well, no, I couldn't drive. I know, I just joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice little trip. Uh, it's currently 45 degrees outside. Clear day, nothing's gonna happen. It's not even windy. I don't think. It seems like the, everything's calm, so it's a it's a nice day. We'll take it, right, Simon? Yeah, man. Think about driving three trailers behind you. Mm. I don't like to think about one trailer behind me, Simon. <laughs> yeah, this one was interesting to do because. Um, it looked fine, like when he put it on the on the trailer and stuff. But the back end is a little bit a little twisted. twisted. I thought it was good enough, but it was not. Was there anyone that was telling you that it wasn't? <laughs> or to double check it? Yeah, I did. I looked. <laughs> was the wifey telling you to double check it? Yeah, the wife's not happy. <laughs> the chain couldn't go through, so I had to like take off my glove and put my hand through, you know. But I was able to. The chain could go through. To put it in and, and go into the trailer and then it was just a pain. go this way, you know, it wasn't just a regular loop. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Um, but we so got to work, so yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I wish there was a lot more of these because yeah, it would. It's a good rate. It, that is it, a good rate. Yeah, you know, it's hard on the truck, but it's a good rate. Yeah, it's a great rate. Um. I just we're, wish they were open later than three. Yeah, the, that was the problem for us. We got the one done, but we wasn't able to uh, drop off the second one at the time. The place that we're taking it to is um, they close it, or they no longer accept any more loads after 3 p.m. So after we got done uh, with the paperwork and all that, GPS said we would have got there around 3.18 p.m. And uh, I, he was showing us where the bathrooms were um, because I figured if we went to the bathroom there, since we had limited amount of time, it'd be shorter than, you know, You mean at the, pre at and, the place we dropped off before yeah. we went to pick up another one? And when I was walking beside the guy, I asked him, I said, so you guys are until 3? And he goes, yep, 3 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, okay. And Derek didn't hear me ask, and he's like, so what's the latest you guys are open to? <laughs> and he's like three o'clock you know <laughs> and we're like, he's like and if you can't make it by three you can always bring it tomorrow but I'm like dang it because yeah. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be you know but we got up at four four ten this had, morning we had good we intentions yeah. we did and we still we couldn't go anywhere because when I got home because I brought the first one home so that way cinnamon and I could sleep in bed but anyways uh By the end of the day, I had to have at least, you know, so many hours off, and it, we had to wait then on that, you know, for my downtime. So and we didn't calculate it last night. We yeah. did it this morning. Wasn't like, thinking. we were ready to go, and then we're like, oh, wait, we have to wait. We probably would have done, stunk. yeah, we probably would have done things a lot different. But it was kind of cool. Like, there's always a positive about things. It was kind of cool to see, like, the sunrise and stuff. And but it was nice to sleep in bed, though, right? Yes. Yeah. 
So as you can tell, we got a bunch of junk behind us now. And uh, we decided we're going to try out, you know, doing our best to sleep inside the truck, try to get loads that are close to home, to sleep at home or to uh, sleep in the truck. So I'm sure you'll hear us talk about it more on down the road, but that's why there's a bunch of junk in here. Yeah. We're going to see how it goes. I know a lot of people have, you know, just sleep in the truck, you know, and we've tried it before and it was awful. Yeah. But so we're going to try it again. So. We're going to try it again. Because <laughs> I can say it was $80, you know, tonight on a hotel room. It all adds up because we've been having to get the cheapest without any bu bu bed bugs. Those yeah. type of, you know, uh, hotels, the cheapest we can find is about uh, 78, like 80 bucks. And we have to do it four nights a week. So that's 320 bucks a week, which is just awful. Like, I don't even want to think about it. So, we're going to try it tonight, see how it goes. But, you know what, us being up so early in the morning, I'm sure that'll be, I'm hoping that we can just be so tired of it. Hopefully. Yesterday, one, say zero, zero, just all do it! Liftoff, we have a liftoff. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me.